This is me over the weekend. Got together with a bunch of people. A lot of people there I didn't know too, but that's me in the back. Such a good time. You ready to roll? Three, two, one. Good evening. It is still not safe to gather with people. You must remain in lockdown and refrain from gathering for your protection and the safety of those around you. The experts who you give your power away to estimate that it'll be safe to gather with people again in about seven generations from now. And we have many other breaking news stories for you today. In a remarkable feat, the Moderna vaccine trials have shown the vaccine to be 94% effective in preventing COVID-19 symptoms. This is just what we in the world needed to hear. Almost as remarkably, COVID-19 has been shown to be 80% effective in preventing COVID-19 symptoms, as 80% of infected people simply don't have any symptoms. But for the individuals who do not receive a COVID-19 infection to protect them from COVID-19 symptoms, the vaccine is looking like a powerful pathway at preventing COVID-19 symptoms for them. It's without a doubt the most reality-based breakthrough a company has ever shown on their own product. In other news, you don't know anyone who's gotten the flu or a cold since last February. Do you? Right? That's because those things don't exist anymore. Let's not think about that any further. In Japan, during October alone, there were more suicides related to the misery of the lockdowns than there were deaths from COVID in all of 2020. Experts suspect the only way to reduce the number of suicides from the lockdowns is with more strict lockdowns. This just in, officials who impose lockdowns on societies who don't want them are not held accountable for the deaths caused by the lockdowns. Experts agree schools need to stay closed indefinitely to protect our children. This year to date, there's been 127 kids under the age of 18 who have died from COVID. Yet there's been 26,333 total deaths this year. Luckily, the things that are killing 206 times more kids than COVID appear to be far less deadly than COVID and need not be worried about while we continue to worry about COVID. Even though the numbers I just read are straight from the CDC website, the fact checkers will check this video out as false information that could mislead people. Oh, and this just in. Suck it, fact checkers. <laughs> I blacked out. Where were we? In Austin, Texas, the leader of the Communist Party, Mayor Steve Adler, told residents they must stay home in lockdown while he was on vacation in Mexico. In lockdowns, dictator Eric Garcetti has canceled everything. A very precise, nuanced strategy to use lockdowns to help kill people before a virus can kill them. Now, if there's one thing we can all agree on, it's lockdowns simply save lives. They're unquestionably the right thing to do. Though, oddly enough, the World Health Organization is now urging world leaders to stop using lockdowns. The World Health Organization's Dr. David Nabarro has said the reason for not using lockdowns anymore is because of the hunger and poverty they cause. <laughs> However, in our good medical conscious, we have to classify this doctor's medical perspective as Russian misinformation. It is appalling that Russia could even say that he said lockdowns cause hunger and poverty. In other news, The Lancet reported an estimated 265 million people will be facing acute food insecurity by the end of 2020. And it's estimated lockdowns will push an additional 150 million people into extreme poverty. It's clear that the public and the experts who are allowed to talk want more lockdowns. Facebook still has election-related posts labeled as Joe Biden is the projected winner of the U.S. presidential election. And it's kind of making people who don't know how to not think ask, what are they trying to cover up? Well, the answer is nothing. In unrelated news, a firm that owns Dominion Voting Systems received $400 million from a Swiss bank with connections to the Chinese government before the election. However, it would be xenophobic to even question this information any further. A new study out of Denmark concludes that masks do not protect you from COVID infection. Well, Denmark, 
I think this guy disagrees with you. People should not be walking around with masks. Uh, no, not, not that one. Um, play the other clip. Masks are important. Yeah, that's right. That's a face you can trust. And you can also trust this Danish study is clearly from Russia. That's it for today's news. Tune in tomorrow to update your internal software with the latest edition of Terror. Go back to sleep, America. We'll do your thinking for you.